This video will walk you through a quick launch of how to modify a course. For starters, you'll need to be logged in to Curriculumet. If you're having trouble logging in, contact the OCC curriculum staff. Once you're logged in, select Build Courses from the left-hand navigation menu. Then, select Modify Course. Select your subject from the drop-down menu. If you need access to a subject that doesn't appear, contact the curriculum staff. Click OK and you'll see a list of current courses in the system. You'll notice that some courses have a copy icon next to them, while other courses don't. The first step to modifying a course is copying the current version of the course. In order to make sure that only one change goes through the system at a time, you can only copy a course once. If you need access to modify a course that doesn't have a copy icon next to it, that means there's already a change pending in the system. If there's a change that you really need to make and you can't copy the course, contact the curriculum staff and they'll work with you. For the purpose of this video, we'll modify Accounting 102, which does have a copy icon. Go ahead and click the copy icon. From the next screen, you'll select your proposal type. If you'd like to add a distance ed addendum, or you need to modify that something that's already in your distance ed addendum, select the version that mentions distance ed. If your modification has nothing to do with distance education and addendums, select OCC Modify Course. Click OK and the system will create the shell of your course. What it's doing now is copying all the current data from your current active course and putting it into the course checklist. Again, this is a quick launch video, so we won't walk through every single section in detail. But in order to launch your course, you'll need to make sure that every section of the course checklist is complete. We'll highlight a couple of quick things. The first is in the cover section. Curriculum runs on an academic year, so your proposed modification will always be effective for the following fall semester. The other item we'll highlight is the List of Changes section. Click all of the boxes where you're making changes to your course. It's also very important that you use the comment section here and be as specific as possible. This will let your approvers and the curriculum committee know exactly why you're doing the changes to your course. It's important to note as well that if you're working on a CTE course, these changes will need to be submitted by an advisory committee meeting. Go ahead and click Finish, and you'll be able to continue working on the rest of the course checklist. Now you don't have to make all of your modifications in one sitting. The course has been saved in the system, and you can always come back to it later. To do that, from the home screen, go to Build Courses. This time, instead of clicking Modify Course, you'll select your subject from the drop-down list. This will show you a list of all the courses you're currently already working on. You can go ahead and click on the pencil button, and now you'll be able to continue to work on your course. Once all of the course checklist areas have been completed, you'll be allowed to launch your proposal into the queue. Let's look at a course that I've already begun working on to see what that will look like. Again, you'll go to Build Courses and select your subject from the drop-down list, which will bring you a list of all the proposals you're currently working on. Click on the pencil, and it'll take you to the work you've already done. For this course, the last thing I need to do is the Attached File section. I don't have any files to attach, so I'll hit Finish. Typically, the Submit button will show up here on the left-hand side of the menu. If all of your checkboxes have been completed and it doesn't pop up, that's okay. Just hit the Refresh button, and now you'll be able to submit your course into the workflow. Click Submit and it'll officially be launched. The next step is to have your division reps, your department chairs, and your dean approve your course. For more information on how to check on the status of the course, please see the video on that tutorial. This concludes this Curriculum Net walkthrough.